Hello guys, good afternoon, happy Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Welcome to another vlog. It's already like 1.30 in the afternoon. As you guys saw, I was doing computer work earlier this morning. I edited last week's weekly vlog. I'm trying to like get a little bit ahead on my YouTube videos because next weekend my family and I are actually going away for a week on vacation we're just getting like a private beach house just for my immediate family and my boyfriend but we booked this a few months back back when it was still winter time and I'm just so excited that it's finally approaching because it's much needed but at the same time it's a little bit of a stressful time because if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs recently you know that I am moving out of my apartment my lease is gonna be up at the end of this month and I have been, you know, gradually moving in to this house where I currently am with my boyfriend. And we got majority of my stuff out of the apartment. But because we're going to be gone that whole last week of May, I need to have all of my stuff out of there before we leave. Because when we get back, I'm only going to have like a day or two left. And I still need to clean and all that kind of stuff. So I really only have like a week and a half to finish moving and get the last bit of stuff out of my apartment. But yeah, anyway, so I was doing computer work, did dishes, just trying to clean up a little bit. I have work later today, but I don't have to go in until four. So I figured, let me try to be as productive as possible before I need to leave for work. I currently am just making myself a little food because I haven't eaten yet. So I'm just making myself a little breakfast sandwich situation oh but i wanted to give you guys another little sneak peek and show you some more of the progress that we've made in the house i am really excited i feel like it's starting to really come together and actually feel like a home now so the kitchen i'm pretty sure i already showed you guys at some point that we had put these shelves up here but we also now this is like one of our newest additions i found this little cart thing at home goods and it was like totally unexpected just went in there one day to kill some time saw this and was like oh my god it's perfect and it fits perfectly like we needed something to put on this wall and we needed more countertop space we needed more storage so this was perfect and i mean look at it it, it doesn't block the vent which is nice and there's still room to open up these cabinets over here. So it's just like it was meant for this space. I love it so much. Oh, and then as you saw at the beginning of the vlog, I got an espresso machine. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My boyfriend got this for me as an early birthday gift. And I'm so excited. It's amazing. I've used it every day since I got it a few days ago. And it is honestly truly some of the best coffee i've ever had in my whole life and you guys you if you know me you know i am a coffee freak so that's saying a lot it's it's really really nice i think this is the virtuo next pretty sure um i wanted one that wasn't going to take up as much countertop space so i really really like it um we also brought this tall like bookshelf thing from the kitchen in my old apartment <laughs> but i forgot the actual shelves at the apartment so we don't have much in there right now but eventually we'll put like some extra food and stuff and kind of use that as like a little pantry same way i had it in my apartment and then this is how the living room is looking oh hi <laughs> ignore the boxes over there that's what the nespresso came in oh by the way yeah here we go there's the name of it for 2 next. So yeah, it's really coming along in here. We got this fish tank set up. 
Um, my boyfriend already had the tank, so he just went the other day and got all the stuff and like decorated it. We don't have any fish in here just yet. He wanted to get everything set up and get like the water temperature right and all that first. And we brought my couch over from my old apartment and the rug and it just, it feels so cozy in here now. I love it. And back here are these like little like built-ins. I don't know. I wish that they, the top opened up and that there was storage in them. That'd be really cool. There's not. So it's just kind of like a ledge, but we put the cat tree over there and we're just kind of working on like decorating back there. I'm not totally sure what we're going to do yet, but that is how this is looking. And then this table was already here in the house and we thought that it looked perfect over there and this is going to be so fun having a little side table that I can decorate for all of like the different seasons and holidays and stuff I'm really excited about that so um we're gonna get a little lamp probably to put up here too and just like decorate that really nicely oh and then this is one of my favorite parts we got the front patio set up so cute we already had this rug and then this set I got from Home Depot for a really good price actually. I did not realize how expensive patio furniture is, but this whole set was like around 300 I want to say. And then those little pillows are from Target from like the $5 section in the front. Citronella candle from Target as well. This little thing was already out here and I don't know. Just I love it. I think it's cute. We put some fake candles in there and then we hung up some string lights. So anyway, I'm gonna eat my food now and eventually get ready to go to work. I just wanted to pop in, say hello, get the vlog started, and show you, you know, the little sneak peek of our place. morning it's the next day i am getting ready to go to work and i'm about to do a laser hair removal treatment and i thought let me vlog that because um i had showed you guys many months ago i started using the kenzie ipl handset at home hair removal thing they had sent this to me originally this is not sponsored right now at all. I had only been trying it for a couple of weeks at that point and I was like oh I'll share my final results and some of you guys have been asking me for updates. Well <laughs> I was using it consistently for about a month or so. They say that you're supposed to do one session a week for 12 weeks before you get like your final results and then occasionally you know you can use it every so often for maintenance. So I started doing it on my underarms but I just kept forgetting I wasn't being consistent enough and then I just like stopped using it altogether because I just wasn't being consistent so I was like ugh, there's no point and I feel like the progress that I did make at that point like I had undid because I stopped using it completely so I started fresh at the very end of February and I've been doing it consistently I have not missed a single week since so we should be coming up on the 12 weeks pretty soon within the next few weeks and let me show you the hair is not very long but you can kind of see I think like where it's growing out from and where it isn't yeah I mean there's definitely still some hair there but it's pretty sparse it's not all over and you can definitely see especially towards like the center like on this one I feel like the only place where I really still have hair is like up top but like down in the center, it's pretty hairless. So I don't know, I feel like that's pretty good progress. I don't know if by the 12 week mark, they're gonna be completely hairless, but 
I don't know, I'm gonna just keep using it until they are, basically. Um, and I'll continue updating you guys. But yeah, that's, that's why I haven't talked about it since. The way that I've been doing it in order to stay consistent so that I remember to use it is anytime I wash my hair, I know I need to do this. I pretty much always wash my hair twice a week. Oh, and that's the other thing. So they say that, because there's five different settings, and they suggest using it on the highest setting, number five, to get the best results possible. I, I just can't do it. I don't know. Like, it's not that it hurts, but it just like, it just sends out this like quick little pulse of like hot light and I don't know it just it freaks me out for some reason so I have been sticking to level three and that is perfect because I mean it it's warm I can feel it but I'm just more comfortable with it and I figured because I'm not doing the highest setting I've just been doing it two times a week to kind of make up for it so I just do each side they say that you can do up to three passes per session so I do three or four but since the end of February this is how I've been doing it and I haven't experienced any issues like no skin damage or anything like that I'm gonna finish getting ready for work I'll see you once I'm all dressed Good morning, happy Saturday. I've worked today at the salon at 10. I just got up, brushed my teeth, washed my face. Now I'm doing a face mask and I made myself a little green smoothie. I guess this isn't little, this is a pretty ginormous green smoothie. But it is a beautiful morning and I love that I can sit outside. I have like an outdoor space that's totally private and then I can come out here in my pajamas in a robe with a face mask on and I can just enjoy my breakfast. Penny is over there roaming around. The geese can be a little obnoxious, but <laughs> for the most part, it's really peaceful. <sighs> this is just so nice. <laughs> what are you doing? This is the face mask that I did, by the way. I gotta leave in about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go find something to wear and maybe do something about this hair. Actually, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. This is air dried from yesterday. My coffee is cold now. Hi. <laughs> it's the next day. It's Sunday. Um, I, I don't even know what time it is. Oh my god, it's almost 1 p.m. Sundays, pretty much every week, we go to my boyfriend's grandfather's house and his side of the family, they all get together and have like a Sunday dinner there. So I really need to like pull myself together and I need to clean up the house. So this is what I'm working with. <laughs> There's just stuff all over the place. I'm just gonna show you my side of the bed. I'm not even, I'm not gonna put my boyfriend on blast. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely need to 
clean up over here and then we have a bunch of clean laundry from a couple days ago that is still just piled up in the laundry baskets oh and i joined the crime junkie patreon you guys know it's my favorite podcast so now i get the monday episodes a day early and they just uploaded this week's episode so i'm gonna listen to this while i clean so hot but I love it hi guys uh, today is Monday I am on my way to go get a Brazilian wax before my vacation oh, poor Benny is sitting at the end of the driveway just watching me drive away he looks so sad so going to get a wax and then my plan is after that I'm going to Stop at the apartment again, and by the way, I was trying to mess with the car mount to see how I can get it from sitting still and not like moving around like this, and I, I can't. I can tighten it so it won't like flip around this way, but there's nothing that will keep it from moving side to side, so I'm sorry if it moves a little bit. But last night, we stopped at the apartment for a little bit. We weren't able to pack up as much as I thought we'd be able to. My car, it's small, but it actually can fit a lot in the back. But um, I just had a lot of like really big boxes of stuff. So we were able to get all of the boxes, which is nice. So anyway, I'm gonna stop there after my appointment and just try to fill up my car with more stuff. I'll show you when we get there. It's just really crazy how fast as the time flies because I started this whole process of moving into the house well first before we even could start moving anything in we had to really clean it up it needed a lot of work so we started all of that at like the beginning of March and then I started just kind of slowly like packing up my apartment and bringing stuff over and we've pretty much been staying at the house exclusively since March, since like the end of March. And I thought like, oh, I'm starting this so early. It's like a little bit ridiculous almost. Like I have so much time. Now here we are the week that I need to be out. Oh, sorry. And I feel like, oh my God, where has the time gone? Like I still feel like there's so much to do. I just, feel overwhelmed and I'm like super booked this week at work which is good because it'll help to make up for the week that I'm on vacation not making money or taking clients but at the same time I'm just like oh my god by the time this week is over I'm gonna really really be in need of a vacation I'll see you when we're at the apartment <sighs> I'm out of breath because I just had to run up all those freaking stairs it's definitely easier bringing everything down and it was bringing it all up when I moved in, but I think when I moved in, I didn't mind the stairs as much because I was just excited to move in here. But now that I'm leaving, I just resent the stairs. Anyway, I got my wax. It went really well. Um, the girl actually that did it today, because normally I just go to European Wax Center, just like a quick walk-in place. I normally just go with whoever is available for like the day and time that I need. But today, the girl that did my wax, I went to her once before and I've decided she is my favorite and I want to just keep sticking with her. So I pre-booked my next appointment with her. She's amazing. It's the least painful with her. Like I don't know what it is about how she does things, but it's like, I don't know, she just does a really, really good job. And then I stopped and got Starbucks while I was there, and they actually had oat milk. I feel like every freaking Starbucks, there's just like a national shortage of oat milk. But I got the brown sugar iced shaken espresso. So good, I haven't had it in a while. I've been trying to just make coffee at home, save some money, but I figured while I was out, I'll treat myself. But 
Now I'm at the apartment and uh, I just don't even, I just don't even know. Ugh. Let me show you. I went through the closet. I took all my clothes off of the hangers and I just put them in garbage bags. So in here is pretty empty for the most part. Oh, I didn't even realize I didn't take this stuff down. Okay, so maybe I should do that. And then I have some stuff hanging up here. <laughs> I'm over it. I can't wait for this week to be over. <laughs> Be, just be done with this but yeah I just kind of have stuff all over the place um, the kitchen at this point is pretty much empty um, I have a couple dishes still and then over here is just like some food stuff so I don't know, I guess I'm going to just start bringing all those bags of clothes down and uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just going to start grabbing stuff and just filling up the car and I'm just going to keep going until I can't fit anything else. Honestly, could have filled it up probably a bit more, but it is too freaking hot. I'm gonna come back um, either later tonight, possibly, or tomorrow with my boyfriend. There's not too much left at this point, honestly, but it's just, it's a lot <laughs> to keep going up and down just for one person. And it's a pain in the ass doing it in the middle of the day like this because there's so many people just like walking by on the sidewalk. Not the most convenient to be, you know, coming in and out, moving a bunch of crap when there's a whole bunch of people. Hello, it is a few days later. It's very hot today. I love it. I love the hot weather, but when you're running around and you have so much to do and with moving and everything, it makes things difficult. But yeah, it is Friday afternoon. I don't even remember when is the last time I vlogged, what day it was, what I was even doing, but oh, I haven't picked up the camera in a few days because my anxiety has just been really, really bad. I don't know what the hell happened, but it, I've just like for the last few days, I've just felt like so nauseous and like my chest feels like somebody's like sitting on it my throat feels constricted and yesterday I was at work and I legitimately started having a panic attack I still don't have everything out of the apartment and we leave early tomorrow morning for our trip the problem that I keep running into is I can't go during the day because a I have work B it's been so damn hot and in my apartment I'm all the way on the top floor it's an old building it doesn't have central air conditioning so it's just really, really hot up there. And coming up and down the stairs is just awful. And it's been so busy. And there's no parking lot or anything like that. I have to just parallel park out front. I can't like double park because the street's too narrow. There's nowhere for me to park. So my boyfriend ended up coming with me. We went there at 11 p.m. last night. And it was perfect because there was no one there, not a single car, nobody was out. We just like completely packed my car full. And by the time we got home and unloaded everything from the car, it was after midnight. And then at like four or five in the morning, I got woken up. Benny came downstairs and was like digging through the trash. So I had to get up and clean that up. And I just, I didn't sleep the best last night. I'm just really, really looking forward to this vacation. I just, God, I need it so bad, especially after this week. So anyway, I just wanted to update. I got my eyelash extensions filled. We went fuller this time um, because I have to do eye drops um, because of my LASIK eye surgery as part of my aftercare. I feel like that's been making them fall out quicker and especially because I'm going to the beach and stuff. We decided to just go super full so that way they'll last me as long as possible. 
and then I got my nails done. I love. So anyway, um, I had work this morning. I had two clients. Now I had like a nice two and a half hour break. I have to go back at four o'clock. It's a little after two now, so I have some time. I have to go back. I have one more client, and then I'll be done <laughs> with work. I don't, and I don't know if I'm gonna end up going back to the apartment at some point today. I, especially because it's a Friday, it's probably just gonna be way too packed, and it's so hot. It's like almost 90 degrees today, so I don't know if we're gonna do that. <laughs> I might have to just wait. Luckily, I am going to have two days after we get back from vacation. We should be able to just get it all done in one shot when we get back. I still have to pack. I need to pack for Benny because he's coming with us too. I need to get the cat situated. I'm going to bring my cat to my parents' house. And my friend is going to come and just, you know, check in on them and feed them and stuff like that throughout the week. Oh, and, and I have to finish editing this video so I can schedule it to go up while I'm away. So there's still some things I have to do. I feel like I'm going to be up really late again tonight. Luckily, I don't have to drive tomorrow, so I can sleep in the car. But I wanted to open some packages with you guys. I ordered some teeth whitening stuff. I uh, got sucked into an Instagram ad <laughs> and I like the fact that it says whitening without the sensitivity and they're certified non-toxic um, enamel safe and it's made with like coconut oil I think most whitening products use hydrogen peroxide but this stuff uses a patented formula of coconut oil sage oil and lemon peel oil without the sensitivity oh and the brand I didn't even say is Lumino Lumino Oral Essentials. I don't know. Not sponsored. Like I said, it was just an Instagram ad I saw. So it came with the white strips. And then it also came with a little, like, travel size of their whitening toothpaste, which is perfect. I'll bring this with me on our trip. And a whitening mouthwash. And then I needed to spend a little bit more to get free shipping, so I decided to get just a full size of the whitening toothpaste to try out. So... We'll see. I can keep you updated in a future vlog and let you know how well this works. It wasn't too expensive. I want to say it was like 40 bucks for both of these. And then I got a PR package. This is from Kate Somerville Skincare. So cute. Now that I don't really do like makeup content anymore, I don't get PR packages as often. So this is exciting. Oh, I got a little bucket hat. No. Oh, Look at this. Picture me at the beach. Cute. Mm -hmm. So they sent me the Daily Deflector Mineral yeah. Sunscreen. Also perfect for my vacation. Oh my god, I'm going to definitely bring this with me. Oh, and it's fragrance free. That's good to know. Lightweight sunscreen, hydrates skin, restores the protective barrier while protecting against sun damage and the visible signs of aging. Formulated with skin restoring, ceramides, and a skin protecting antioxidant, vitamin E. And it's cruelty free also. That's good. Ooh, I like that it has a pump. Squeezy tube with a pump. Love that. Put a little bit on. I already put on some SPF this morning, but probably a good idea to reapply it. Yeah, it doesn't have any scent, and it is pretty lightweight. Oh, actually, no, yeah, this is really nice. When I was first applying it, I was like, I don't know, it feels like a little bit greasy, you know, like how most sunscreen can be, but as soon as it starts drying, it literally is so smooth and weightless, and it, like, completely just dries down, no stickiness at all. Ooh. I feel like if you wanted to wear makeup too, like this would be really nice under your makeup. It would just like glide right on top. But I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Like I said, I still have a lot to do. Hopefully I'll be able to edit this before I have to go back to work. So that's going to be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.